Hello everyone, welcome back to the PYQ series. As I told you in my previous video, that the best way to prepare is to do one PYQ every day for each subject. Okay, so uh, in this video again, I am here with one more PYQ, and let's make a slogan that PYQ a day keeps fear away. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Micro Simplified. I am your guide and mentor, Dr. Amit Kumar Singh. So let's start with the video. So today's topic for discussion is also bacterial meningitis. Another question on another bacteria, PYK number two. Okay, so let's see the question. The question is about a 50-year-old man present with history of fever, headache, photophobia, and neck rigidity. He had history of heart transplantation and is currently on immunomodulatory drugs. CSF examination showed low glucose, liver protein, pleocytosis with predominant neutrophils. Microscopic examination of culture showed differential motility, stumbling motility at 25 degrees Celsius and non-motile at 37 degrees Celsius. So what is the most likely organism causing this? Okay, so we'll see the information first of all. Make it a way that first of all, every time in a problem-based question, see the information provided. Okay, so first the information is the age at 50-year-old man. Okay, second information is the symptom fever, headache, photophobia, neck rigidity. And then again, there is a history of transplantation, heart transplantation and currently on immunomodulatory drug. Okay, currently. So currently is taking immunomodulatory drug which is suppressing the immunity. CSF examination what it shows, low glucose, elevated protein, pleocytosis with predominant which type of cell? Neutrophil. And microscopic examination showed organism showing differential type of motility that is is motility stumbling at 25 but non-motile at 37. So what is organism? Okay. So there are so many hints given in this question. So first we will take the age, second the symptoms, third this additional history, fourth is the CSF finding and fifth is the motility of the organism. So what is the organism? So even if you remember tumbling motility, you may be able to answer that tumbling motility is seen in case of Listeria monocytogens. Okay, but suppose if instead of tumbling motility, if anything else is mentioned, so how to crack the question? So first see the symptom. Symptom is suggestive of fever, headache, photophobia, neck rigidity. In my previous video itself, I have told you these are the symptom of meningitis. Okay, these are the symptom of meningitis. And apart from this, there is another history of heart transplantation and current intake of immunomodulatory drugs. What does it mean? That the patient is currently on immunosuppressive drugs. So, the patient must be immuno suppressed okay so the patient is immunosuppressed apart from this the CSF finding if you remember the previous table in the previous question which I have told you in, the, in my previous video if you see on the basis of the information that low glucose so low glucose for more detail of this table you can go to the previous question okay so I am just going to the question right now only so low glucose is seen in bacterial, tubercular and fungal except viral. Okay. So, it may be any of these three. Then, elevated protein. Elevated protein again is seen in all of the cases and it may be normal in case of viral but not necessary that it will always be normal. Okay. And the third one is which is the clue to the diagnosis is pleocytosis with predominant neutrophils. Okay. So, predominant neutrophils is seen in only in case of bacterial. So, this is a case of bacterial meningitis. So, what it is? It is a case of bacterial meningitis. Okay. So, this is a case of bacterial meningitis. The third information that the patient is immunosuppressed, that means the agent should be a, com a commonest causative agent among immunosuppressed individual. Okay. For that, what we need to do, we need to go to the table of bacterial agent causing meningitis. So, if you remember, I told you that among these agents which causes meningitis, Listeria monocytogens, if you remember, it causes infection neonates, pregnant women, elderly, and Immuno 
suppressed individuals at all of all ages so the chances are very high that this is the causative organism so to confirm this what they have given they have given that the motility which is shown by the organism is tumbling motility and we know that tumbling motility is only seen in case of listeria at 25 degrees celsius and it is non modal at 37 so definitely the answer is listeria okay so here itself now you know the answer is listeria even if you know the tumbling motility at 25 degrees celsius seen by which organism then even if you don't know any of these things you would have answered this okay but okay i have told you just to crack the question in a proper manner so that you should be confirmed before answering the question so apart from this what else we should know about listeria so let's go through that so what is listeria listeria is a gram positive bacilli listeria is a gram positive bacilli okay and motility is tumbling okay and this tumbling motility is seen at 25 degree celsius that is 20 to 25 degree celsius and it is non motile at 37 degree celsius why because the formation of flagella occurs only at this temperature that is room temperature this type of motility this not this tumbling this motility that motile at 25 and non motile at 37 this type of motility is seen in case of yersinia but not all species yersinia pseudo tuberculosis and yersinia enterocolitica but not by yersinia pestis yersinia pestis is yersinia pestis is non motile at all temperature okay so yersinia pestis is non motile at all temperature however yersinia pseudo tuberculosis and yersinia enterocolitica shows motility at 25 and non motile at 37 okay proteus proteus what kind of motility it will show it will show swarming motility okay and this swarming motility is best seen at 25 to 30 degree celsius okay but can also be seen at 37 but best seen at 25 to 37 degree 30 degree celsius okay other key points which we should know about listeria is about the growth so growth is best at 30 to 37 degree celsius but but the important point to remember it can grow at even at 4 degree celsius so what it is mean it survive it can survive refrigeration so even if it is refrigerated it can grow and also it can grow under certain conditions such as low ph and high salt concentration okay it can also grow at low ph and high salt concentration okay and the spread of infection to the surrounding tissue suppose if any one cell is infected by listeria so how the infection is spread to the surrounding tissue there is another mechanism which is called as host cell actin polymerization this utilizes this host cell actin polymerization as a mechanism of spreading the infection and similar type of mechanism is seen in case of sigella flexneri and rickettsia okay similar type of mechanism of spread of infection is seen in case of sigella flexneri and rickettsia okay mode of transmission of infection the first is contact with infected animal then inhalation of
contaminated dust okay and ingestion of contaminated milk and food okay so these are the various mode of transmission of infection seen in case of listeria so what it causes it causes listeriosis and what it will do listeriosis in case of pregnant women it will lead to stillbirth and abortion okay it will lead to stillbirth and abortion in case of neonate you will see the infection may be early infection or may be late infection if it is early infection it, it causes granulomatosis infanti septica okay and in case of late infection what it will cause it will cause meningitis in elderly and immunocompromised it will cause not only meningitis it will cause meningo encephalitis inflammation of both meninges and vein parenchyma okay it causes meningo encephalitis in case of elderly and immunocompromised okay and how to isolate isolation is done by incubation at what temperature 4 degrees celsius and in which medium medium used for isolation is thio glycolate broth liquid medium and then every week what we can do we can subculture from this liquid medium into solid medium okay and for how many days we should do this we should do this for one to six months to isolate and what type of this type of method is of cultivation is called as this is called as cold enrichment method so this type of cultivation is called as cold enrichment so they may ask this question Cold enrichment method is seen in case of Listeria monocytogens because of its capability to grow at lower temperature that is even at refrigeration temperature that is 4 degrees Celsius. Okay, and the treatment treatment is done by ampicillin. Okay, and gentamicin, but we do not use cephalo sporins and fluoroquinolones okay so we do not use cephalosporin and fluoroquinolones for treatment so for listeria what we can do we can use ampicillin or gentamicin okay Another question asked on the same organism, as I told you that they may ask anything else apart from mentioning the motility. So they mentioned directly that the elderly female presented with meningitis. So the case is clear meningitis and also gram staining of CSF shows gram positive rod. So again it is metal meningitis. So now you need to know what are the common agent causing infection in elderly female. So elderly female again if you see elderly listeria neisseria streptococcus pneumoniae streptococcus agalecti and this gram negative so the gram staining of csf shows gram positive so what are those gram positive bacteria so okay gram positive bacillus bacteria is mentioned gram positive rod is mentioned okay so that means it is bacilli so this neisseria is gram negative cocci this pneumococcus is gram positive cocci this is again gram positive cocci and these are all gram negative bacilli and this is again gram positive bacilli so the only gram positive bacilli causing infection in elderly is listeria monocytogen so now you know the organism is listeria monocytogens so listeria motilitis tumbling at 25 okay and non motile at 37 degrees celsius i told you 20 to 25 that's why you see here in they mentioned 22 so what is the correct answer motile at 25 and non motile at 37 okay so this is the correct answer
On the next question on list theory again, as I told you, I will discuss not only the PYQ, I will discuss all the question asked on the particular topic. So that's why I'm discussing the whole topic. So if anything asked in this list area, you will be able to answer. So all the following are true except about uh, list area except transmitted by contaminated milk, caused abortion in pregnant women, gram negative cocoa bacilli, causes meningitis in neonates. So first, if you remember, I told you it can be transmitted by uh, ingestion of contaminated milk or food. So this is correct. Causes abortion. Apart from abortion, what it will cause? Stillbirth. Okay. It is a gram positive rod, not cocoa based life. So this is incorrect. Causes meningitis in neonates. Yes. In case of late infection, it causes meningitis. Early infection, granulomatosis infantiseptica. So this is the correct. So the which is incorrect, this is incorrect. So the correct answer is this one okay so i hope i was able to explain this list area and definitely i am sure that this is going to help you in the examination so all the best take care and i will see you in the next video okay of this pyq so a pyq a day keeps fear away remember this take care